our YouTube channel. Like, subscribe, and give it a thumbs up. Yay! <laughs> Hi guys, hola, bonjour, Marega. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you for making it back. So it is Wednesday today, and as I promised, I'll have a video on Wednesday. And today we're doing taxes. Uh, I'll take you through how to do your returns and take you through the KRA website, the iTax website. I hope you enjoy. If you do enjoy it, give me a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share. Okay, let's begin. So the first thing you do is simply go to your browser and Google iTax. And because Google is smart and they can tell whenever you're doing your search, they can tell the country you're in, they will just bring it to KRA iTax. will be your first uh, suggestion. So you just go to KRA iTax. This process was automated in, I think in 2016 is when he started doing filing on iTax, which has made everything easier. And I think it has also made it easier for KRA to collect tax where they should be. So when you Google, this is the page that comes. Looks like that. Here is where you go to, so that you can log in. You enter PIN or use ID. PIN is easier. User ID is quite long, so PIN is easier. The PIN is long too, however, I cannot do this. Let me see if I can remember. I had copy, I had copy pasted so that it would be easy for me to, to be easy for me to, to log in. So, I cannot remember. I hope I remember. It's a long number, but it's like a phone number sometimes. Even if it's so long, you can remember. It is enough invalid. So let me pause this and go cram it again. So after you've logged in, this is where this is how they carry uh, Kenya Revenue Authority iTax homepage looks like. It's just like that it's easy here we, we are very interested with the returns however let's just see what the other tabs have i sincerely have never done uh visited you know these other tabs so we're learning together has all those and then the next one will be returns this is where we're supposed then there is file to return amend return uh, view file to return and then file nail ITR for employment income only. I have no idea what that is. We will Google what that is. And then there's pay. Amazingly, what some of the things that I've always found, uh, one of the things that I've found interesting with us doing our returns online is this pay here. When you're employed, you're also supposed to do your own returns. So what you do is, uh, in my in my page, I have not indicated an employer, so I do not have that. But when you're employed, you will find it here. You always find the returns that the company did for you, and then you're supposed to come file them from your own account. You know, companies do those returns, and then they'll say the employers that they have, are the employees that they have, and then attach the pin as money out to, to them. So when, and then they also remit the tax for you. However, you still need to file them. You still need to verify whatever the, <clears throat> whatever the, the employer the employer gave is the right thing 
So you always have to do this, which for sure sometimes I feel like it's a waste. It's a waste of time because the employer has already done that. I don't see why people should do that again. But it is a requirement. Even if you're employed, you should do your own returns. And then there's debt and enforcement. Hmm. Request for waiver of penalties and interest. I think that is for property tax. People who have rental properties, land and all that. And then payments. You will find when you do your returns, you will, you can, either, the amount can either be positive or negative. When it's positive, it means you owe carry. And now here's where you come to find the payment details and all that. And when it's negative, that means carry owes you. You should get a refund. And here's where you get a refund from. And then... Assessment of dispute. Uh, assessment of dispute. I have no idea what assessment of dispute that's all about, but you can see. And then there are certificates here. Uh, reprinting withholding certificates. Withholding certificates are the certificates that one gets when you have a savings account or you've bought bonds or shares, all those modes of savings. You are charged, you are charged um, tax for the interest, the interest that you get, you should pay tax for that. And here is where you get all your withholding to, uh, certificates. Useful links, yes. E-communication. Larger. Ledger. General ledger. General ledger report. And all that. I have no idea what that does. So let's go to where we're supposed to be and find returns. <coughs> you do find returns when you suspect or you know that your returns are either positive or negative. You owe carry or carry owes you. Uh, and then file amended returns. This is what happens. If you file returns and you miss something, like sometimes you'll do your returns and forget to include your withholding certificate, you cannot file that return successfully. You have to go and amend it. So you can amend that. Or if you remember something that you had forgotten and you do not want to be held liable for, you amend your returns. And then here is view returns. Let me see obligation is okay let me not do that let me know let's not do that and then file new return file new return is mostly for those unemployed people or people in campus because legally when you take your id when you when you turn 18 you should get an id and when you get an id you should also get a carry pin number but most of the times you don't have anything that you can file you're just 18, you don't have, probably don't have a job, and all that, that is when you file a new return. So, I clicked uh, file new return, I want to show you how that one goes. Yeah, uh, this is my PIN number, and then you're doing self. When you're in your own site, it's given, you're doing a self-return. And then tax obligation. Tax obligation is resident. And then there's non-resident and for rental income. I'm doing resident. Resident is for citizens of the country. Non-resident are for people who are working here and they're not necessarily citizens of the country. So next. Wow, 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 wow. So there's this prompt here. This is because I've already done my returns. I've already done, right now you're doing returns for January 2019 to December 2019. KRA is usually very kind, it gives you a grace period of six months for you to file your returns. So I've already done my returns. Uh huh. So I cannot proceed from there because I've already done my 2019 returns. Wow. Wow. Okay. But basically, when you come here, you're asked for your spouse's, uh, I wonder why they've written wife. 
as if women do not do returns and then you'll need a husband. They can already tell I'm a woman here. I wonder why they're telling me their wife pain. However, uh, it is not compulsory for you to fail in that. And then what you do is you come here. Yeah, your pin is just there. Here is where you should edit the dates. If if I had not done for 2018 and 2019, I would have that option of editing the date or period from... Let me see if I can actually do it. I'm sure I'm not able to do it. Wow. Okay. Let's go back to this. Okay. This is going to be a fail. I need a person. I need to do returns for a, someone who hasn't done their returns. Self. And then now I've gone to file returns, not nil returns. Let me see. That. Oh, my tax obligation is still. Okay. You have to feed all this information. Otherwise, it won't go. When it has that star, that says this means that like all feeds marked with a star are mandatory so you have to you cannot proceed until you've done that next so this is how the when you are returning the other one was need return this is now when you have a positive or negative return and this is the page that it opens and now i don't think i can be helpful with this because i've already already done mine Period from, let me see if I'm able to change that. I cannot change, wow. I think I, I will have to do another video that shows, let's just call this video that, uh, a video that shows you all the tabs that are there. I will have to do returns for someone who haven't done their returns so that this can make sense. Otherwise, with my own pain, and I've asked around all my sisters have done their returns, most of my friends have, yeah but wow that was a fail one because i did not know that i'm not able to show you with my with my own uh return <laughs> returns if i've already done them i will and probably i feel like i should divide this into two videos where we do a real return and we have a whole excel sheet and where we do a nail return if you haven't done your returns and you'd like me to do them for you i usually judge for that but probably now for the sake of the video i can do for one person for free yeah thank you for watching and give me a thumbs up and subscribe like and share bye see you next week on wednesday